Greetings, it is Maxo Diddley here, and today I'm here with another Visual Basic tutorial to help you get that A in your exam. And today we're here with validating a mobile phone number. So let's quickly go over what makes a valid phone number. Mobile phone number, that is. Firstly, the first digit must be a zero. The second digit must be a seven. It must be 11 digits long, and obviously the number must only contain digits. What do we mean by that? Well, basically, every single character in the phone number must consist of a 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 or 9. There can be no decimal places. So let's get right into the video. So first thing you need to create a function and we're going to call it val phone number and it's going to be by value and we're going to take in the value and we're going to call it phone number as string as boolean. So what are we doing here? We're creating a boolean function called val phone number. It's going to be by val, therefore we're passing a value into it, and that value shall be stored in the phone number local variable, which is going to be a string. This is a boolean function, as I mentioned before, so it's going to return a true or a false. So we've got one line of code, guys. That's it, right? One line. This is literally an easy way to do this in the exam. We'll do return phone number bracket zero equals zero and phone number one equals seven and phone number dot length equals eleven and rejects dot is match phone number comma then we want to put in a rejects pattern of weird up arrow pizza hat square brackets zero two nine space square bracket plus dollar sign and that's all we have to do so firstly before we explain what this code does we need to do something called importing a library so as you can see there's a squiggly line here, and it's not accessible or not declared. What do we have to do in this situation? We have to import a library. So at the top of your code, just simply put import system.text.regularExpressions. That imports the library to use this rejects class. So let's go into what all this is. Well, basically, this is some basic Boolean logic here. We're, we, we're going to be returning a boolean variable, and that boolean variable will depend on the on these four statements we have. Phone number 0 equal to 0, phone number 1 equal to 7, phone number dot length being equal to 11, and the phone number matching this pattern. So let's go into it firstly. Phone number bracket 0 is just checking, okay, is the first character, or the character of the index of 0 in a string, equal to 0? The string in this case is phone number. So check in if the first character is a zero. And remember when doing indexing, we always start on zero, not one. Now we're making sure that the second thing is making sure that the second digit of our phone number, AKA the digit with the index of one, which makes it the second digit is equal to seven. Then we're checking if the length of the phone number is 11. We can do a string dot length to get the length of a string and then we can compare it to something like a number. Rejects.isMatch is basically match checking if a string matches a pattern. And we're making, and I'm not going to explain what all this is because we don't need to explain it this, but basically we're making sure that the phone number only contains 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 and 9s and nothing else to ensure that we don't potentially have any special characters or digits or letters in our phone number which only needs numbers. So that's what that does. Now, each of these individual statements will return a true or a false. Basically, when they're called, a true will emerge or a false will emerge. And using your Boolean logic, if we use an AND statement, for a true to come out, everything must be true. If at least one thing isn't true, then the whole outcome becomes a false. So basically, to return a true, a valid phone number, we need all four of these statements or conditions, you might want to call them, to be true. If at least one of them is incorrect, then the phone number is not correct, 
and therefore we're going to return a false and not a true. As for something to be true using the AND operator, everything must be true, otherwise it becomes a false. That is some basic Boolean logic you should be familiar with, and if you're not familiar with it, maybe this can help you understand. Anyway, now we need to actually call our method in the main thing. So I'll do dim user input as string equals 0759111888. By the way, that is my old mobile phone number. The SIM card is destroyed, so if you try and call it, you're not going to get a response. We'll do console.writeline val phone num number user input console.readline. We do this. Okay, no. We're declaring our string here. This is a phone number, as you can clearly see. It's nothing new here. We're declaring a string in memory, and we're setting it to this phone number. This would obviously replace a user input, because I'm not teaching you how to do that. I'm teaching you how to validate. Here, we're just going to call the method and print out true or false, so we can see if it works, and read lines just to make sure the program doesn't kill us and close on this. So let's run the program. As you can see, it says a true, because this phone number matches all the requirements of our validation. So let's change a couple things. Let's put an A where the seven would be. And it returns false because it's invalid. Let's put a seven there and just change the zero to a one, let's say. It returns a false. Let's just remove the one. It's gonna return the false as well. So as you can see guys, I'm not going to do every single test to make sure this works because it does work. And this is more than enough for your exam or your coursework. So anyway guys, thanks for being a great audience. Be sure to leave a like if you enjoyed and subscribe for more Visual Basic tutorials. I also post Java, SQL tutorials if you're interested. Anyway guys, thanks for being a great audience and I'll see you next time. Adios.